Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Joey and in this video series, we're gonna go in my journey of my Star Wars collecting, going from basically nothing to a full-blown Kenner 1977 to 1985 collection. So let's get started. So in the last video, I took you through my spreadsheet. I took you through my three rules. Here's number one, here's number two, and here's number three. Last time I took you through my collection, Here's a very quick overview, and let's go through it really fast. Um, I have a Greedo, I have a Power Droid, I have an R5-D4, I have an IG-88, great condition, I have an excellent condition in Stormtrooper Hoth Battle Gear. I also have an Emperor, and I believe that's it. I have nothing from the last 17, the power of the Force, so let's get into it. All right, I told you last time that I have this figure right here, and this is a Princess Leia in her battle poncho. It has the gun, it has her poncho, it's just missing her helmet. So we're gonna try to find a loose helmet. I hope we can find one because I don't wanna repurchase this, this whole figure. This is very special because my mom got this for me when I was in college, so later in life, and that's why it's in such good condition. But I'm just amazed that it has her gun with it. And then another one that I thought I was stoked on that I had was the Rancor Keeper. Now, I was really stoked when I found this because it has his little ban Banfa stick or his little Rancor prodder, if you want to call it that. I checked the date, and this is from the Power of the Force 2 collection, so it's not from the original Star Wars, so I can't put them in my original collection because it's breaking my own rules. Um, it is a very nice figure, so I'm going to keep it, or I might do it for a trade later on down the line, who knows. But I think we should be looking for these two characters, and maybe if we find a good deal on eBay, we'll get a third character. So let's get right into it. So this is a website that I think is pretty cool. It's actually somebody's database of their collection. Let's go to Action Figures, and let's go down to Return of the Jedi to Princess Leia Organa with Battle Poncho. So like I said, I have her gun, her pew pew, her belt's fine, her, her uh, poncho is in great condition. The whole figure is in great condition. There's no scuffs that I have. Uh, so this one is very, very close to the one I have. I just need this helmet. So we're gonna search for the helmet. So let's do that right now. See, so there's a Leia helmet right there for $40, but I have to buy two figures. So let's see if there's anyone selling it. There's a real helmet. <laughs> That's pretty cool, but we don't need that. Um, all right, so there's somebody who's selling individual weapons and individual costume items. Let's see if this person has the helmet, and they do. Wow, it's $72. To buy this helmet right now that is ridiculous I could actually go and buy a figure for I can buy this for cheaper and get the helmet it's damaged though look at that yeah it's super damaged all right let's see if we can find man let, let's keep on let's keep on searching all right we actually found one and we found it for a really good price. We even looked on Facebook. We looked all around and this one is in pretty good condition. Um, and it's for $28. This is actually the cheapest one that we can find. Let's read the description. Um, it's, it's authentic. This buyer has a lot of positive feedback. He sold a lot of things. So we went ahead and you know, let's take a look at the bids where, where we got it. So, you know, it started out at $4, kept on going up, kept on going up, and we actually won it at $28, which was great. Um, I think that's a pretty good deal because like I said, I was looking all around Facebook, nobody had one, and the people that wanted to sell me this wanted to sell it for $40, $30. So basically, I think I got a pretty good deal knowing that I still had to pay $4 shipping and handling. So all in all, 
I think it was a great buy. I think it was a great buy for $28. I mean, these little things, there's so much money for a gun, for an accessory. So I thought that was pretty good. And the second thing that we got was the Rancor Keeper. Now looking at this figure right here, um, it looks it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of scuffing I see. Um, you know, that's a cleanup. I can clean up that arm. The real the boots are great. Not a lot of scuffing. His eyebrows are there. You know, it's it's fairly good. Really, really shiny. Everything was authentic as the the seller said 100% original. And you know, if it's not, I'm I'm going to return it, but everything checks out. The pictures check out with the reference photos that I've seen. He's gotten a lot of good positive feedback. And, you know, originally, I think this, he wanted um, 55 or he wanted $55 for it. I bid him down or I asked him for 45 and he accepted my offer. So I think this one's pretty good. I think we're going to go with this one. Looks pretty good. So let's go with that one. All right, so the third one that I found uh, was for just under twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine, but with four dollars, you know, standard shipping. Which I was looking on Facebook, I was looking even on some other sites, and this is pretty standard. It's a little bit lower than what people on Facebook were selling it for. Really good, um, you know. I think it's really good. the The seller did say that he's in very good shape. A little bit of yellowing, which is true. His weapon is unbroken and it's original. And this is what I look for. I look for the descriptions just to make sure that they're up front. If there's anything that sounds um, too sketchy, like if they say rare, can't miss, very rare, you know, that they want to drive up the price, you know, I, I don't really go for that. Like this is a really good specimen for about the price that I would want to pay for it, even inside a uh a toy shop or vintage shop you know i'm not looking at i'm not looking for it to be super super minty to get graded i just want it to to display in my collection so i think this is this is pretty good many hours later All right, let's go ahead and check these off. Uh, we got the Leia, so let's go ahead and punch her off. And we actually bought her for $34.17, and that was just a helmet. So we bought it for $28, obviously with shipping and, shipping and taxes, ended up being $34. A little bit more than I wanted to spend, but okay. And we also got the Rancor Keeper, which I thought was a pretty cool find. And, and we got him for a final price of $48.49, um, which is not too bad. He was in great condition. And then from the Empire Strikes Back, we got this pretty good looking AT-AT driver. And we ended up spending $25.53, which is not bad uh, for the condition, for what I wanted to spend. That was about perfect. I usually don't want to spend more than $30 for for figures, but you know, some of them I know I'm gonna have to, but I thought that was a pretty good buy. So if we go over it now, we have a Greedo, R5D4, Power Droid, IG-88, Hoth Stormtrooper, AT-AT Driver, which was our find that we got today. We had, we have the Emperor, we got the helmet delivered today, the Princess Leia Organa, 3417, and the Rancor Keeper. 
I believe that's what we have. So I think we did pretty good. Um, I'm super happy with the purchases. Uh, I, I think that we spent a little bit more than I wanted to on the Rancor Monster, but I think next time, next episode, I wanna take us through the Facebook groups and just see which ones that I found that I like going to, and then we're gonna pick at least two more figures. We might buy one big one. Maybe if we find something in the power of the force, which is expensive, we might buy it. So stay tuned. Subscribe, like if you want to see the next episode. And uh, the link for episode one is in the chat or the comments. So check that out. And also the link to the website that I, I referenced today. But other than that, come back for episode three. Like I said, we're either going to buy two figures or one big one. I haven't decided yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.